Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and if you picked up a pair of AirPods Pro, maybe you're thinking of getting them, or maybe you've had them for a while, I wanted to share with you five tips that you may not know, or features that you may not know. So the first one is kind of interesting, but some of the more interesting ones are a little bit later in the video. But the first one is, if we put just one AirPod in our ear, and I'll wait for it to pair here, if we have just one in our ear, we can set up noise cancellation for just one of them. So maybe we want the right side of our ear to be canceled. Well, if we go into settings and then we go to accessibility and then we go to AirPods, under AirPods is noise cancellation with one AirPod. If we turn that on, we will now cancel the noise in just one AirPod and then we can have that one canceled. So if we turn it on here, noise cancellation, it's now blocking the noise in my right ear. If I turn on transparency, it will work in one ear. So before you couldn't do that until you turn on that option. Now the next tip is pretty interesting. In fact, it's pretty simple and straightforward, but if you're using the wireless charging on this case, let me show you what I mean. If you have a wireless charger and you put the AirPods Pro case on it, you'll see that it's charging. Now after just a moment, that status light will go out. If the status light is out and you want to know if it's fully charged or not, just tap the case and it will show you the status. You'll see it's orange. If I tap on it, it's an orange light and it will turn green when it's fully charged. So it's just a neat little way to know what the charge status is. Now, before we go on to the next tip, I wanted to share with you a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Backblaze. And if you've ever needed to back up a lot of data, you know that it can be very expensive, but Backblaze offers unlimited backup for Mac or PC for only $6 a month or $60 a year. They've backed up over 800 petabytes of data and have 45 billion files that have been restored over time. There's mobile apps for on the go if you'd like to access your data that way, or you can restore by mail using a USB key or a hard drive and have that shipped to your door. You can also purchase a hard drive restore and then send the hard drive back within 30 days to get a full refund. That way you don't have to transfer terabytes of data that you might have stored there on a slow connection and you can get it all at once. If you'd like to try this out yourself, go to backblaze.com slash Zolo for a 15 day trial. I'll link it in the description below. And thanks again to Backblaze for sponsoring this video. Now the third tip is pretty interesting and also applies to other generations of AirPods as well. So this works on the AirPods Pro as well as the others. And so let me remove the AirPod Pro and I'll set it aside for now. And then we need to go into settings on our iPhone. Then we need to go to control center and under control center, we need to go to customize controls under customized controls. We need to make sure that hearing is there. If hearing isn't there, we just need to add it from down below. And once it's there, now we can use this feature. And what this feature is, is we can put our AirPods in our ear or just use one. But if we go into the control center, we have this little ear icon here. If we tap on this, we can turn on what's called live listen and live listen. Let me put this one in my ear. Live listen allows us to listen through the microphone on the iPhone through our AirPods. Let me turn it back off as it's a little hard to speak over, but what it allows you to do is place your iPhone, say 30 feet away or so, and it will use the microphone on the iPhone itself to actually project the sound back into your AirPods. And this would allow you to listen maybe in a class where you're having a hard time hearing someone up front in a college class or maybe high school or something like that. And also you could set it if you're having a hard time hearing a TV from a ways away, then you can hear it directly from the microphone on the iPhone right into your AirPods Pro or the other generation AirPods. I think it's a great feature and it's something that I think a lot of people may or may not know exists, but it's super helpful if you need to hear something that's a distance away or a ways away. Now, AirPods Pro have a different type of control on them compared to the original AirPods. This is a little pressure sensitive button. So you just press and hold it to do different things or double tap it to go to the next song. For example, you can control the duration and what this does within your phone. So if you go into settings and then you go down to accessibility under accessibility, we'll again, go to the AirPods menu and here we can control the actual press speed. So maybe you want to just leave it default. You want to slow press it 
or slowly press it, you can do that. You can also change the press and hold duration. So you can change it from short to shorter. So if you just want to click it and it does one action or double click it, you can change that if you're having a problem actually pressing and holding that or clicking it at different speeds. So that may be useful for some people. Now the fourth tip has to do with controlling your AirPods Pro from your Apple Watch. If you're not familiar with it, you can pair your AirPods or AirPods Pro to your Apple Watch. That's very simply done just by going to settings. If you already have them paired to your iPhone, they should show up here, but just go to settings, go down to Bluetooth, tap on AirPods Pro and make sure they're connected. Now, once they're connected, you can actually control what your AirPods Pro are doing as far as the noise cancellation and transparency from the Apple Watch. So on the iPhone, just make sure you're playing some music or maybe a podcast. So we'll just make sure we're playing some music here. We've got the music playing and then you'll see the music is playing on the Apple Watch. Let me turn off Siri. And in the bottom left, we have our AirPlay button. If we hit the AirPlay button, we can turn off noise control, turn it off, turn on noise cancellation, or turn on transparency. We can also send it to a speaker or somewhere else, but it's a really simple way to do this. You can press and hold on the control of the AirPods Pro themselves or control it directly from the watch. Now I have one final tip and that's that you can use your AirPods Pro with any Bluetooth supported device. So maybe you don't have an iPhone and you wanna use it with say a Pixel 4 XL or an Android phone, you can do that. So what you need to do is find the button on the back, press and hold this button, We'll just open it up for now. And what we're looking for is a blinking white light. Once we have the blinking white light, we can go to our device that we want to pair it with and pair a new device. And we'll wait for it here. And hopefully it shows up, but I have paired it successfully to Android devices. There we go, it says AirPods Pro and pairing, and now it's paired. Now you won't have all of the features of an iPhone with the AirPods Pro on an Android phone, but you will be able to use it for music and podcasts. And also you'll be able to use the cancellation features by using the button on the side of the AirPods Pro themselves. And that is really it. Those are six different tips, hopefully to help you get better use of your AirPods Pro. If you have any others that you'd suggest, let me know in the comments below. And of course, check our sponsor in this description where you can get a great deal on some backup for your PC and Mac and let me know what you think about that as well. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more of these videos as soon as they're released. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.